The all-time king of YouTube, Mr. Beast, built an empire known for elaborate stunts, giving away the biggest cash prizes, and setting records when it comes to subscribers and views on his channel. Jimmy Donaldson tried to personify a good guy image by helping countless people during his decade-long YouTube journey. This included his friends who have been with him from the start. His loyalty was unwavering, and with his help, they too became well known for just being associated with Mr. Beast. But this has been a horrendous summer for the content creator, although it started out with such promise. Earlier this year, Mr. Beast signed a huge deal to make a game show for Amazon Prime, and his excitement for the project showed. What's the name <laughs> of the show? Beast Games. Okay. Right. I, I, I think it fits it perfectly. It's going to be, wow. It, I have not, this will be the first time anyone hears it. It's, it's going to be the largest game show in history with the most contestants any game show has ever had, but the largest cash prize in history. That I'll probably reveal later, but you can imagine what the cash prize was on Squid Game, and it's higher than that. But as the project got rolling, other problems began popping up, and before he knew it, he was embroiled in multiple controversies that have cast a shadow over his brand. So the real question is, can Mr. Beast survive the terrible allegations that have turned his world upside down? Of all the issues facing Mr. Beast, the most alarming is the grooming allegations against his longtime friend and channel contributor, Ava Tyson. To start, Ava Tyson was previously known on his channel as Chris Tyson. Chris was a close friend and would often be featured in videos that garnered 100 million views or more. With so many people watching, it was a shock to find out that Chris would be transitioning into a woman. At the time of the announcement, in 2022, Chris was married and they shared one son together. So over the course of the next year, viewers got to witness Chris transitioning into Ava, but it was clear that cameos were becoming more limited as time passed. Then last month, Tyson was accused of engaging in predatory behavior towards minors online. These allegations surfaced when a user named Lava GS claimed on social media that Tyson had inappropriate conversations with him as a 13-year-old. That's when more individuals came forward with similar stories and accusations, leading to Tyson being removed from the Mr. Beast team and all social media, effective July 23rd. Tyson was a topic of considerable interest before this occurred, and it was something that Mr. Beast publicly supported, and that is why Tyson continued to show up in video despite potential confusion among their young audience. But following Ava Tyson's apology post on July 23rd, Mr. Beast released his own response to the allegations by posting on X. It stated that he was hiring an independent investigator to thoroughly examine the claims. He expressed disgust and emphasized that he does not condone any such behavior. He also said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. After learning of the allegations about Ava Tyson, people began digging into Mr. Beast's past, too. Looking through his older videos, social media interactions, and even comments he posted, what they found ignited another firestorm when resurfaced chat comments showed him using inappropriate language and making offensive comments. In 2017, Mr. Beast responded to a comment that dealt with selling black people for money, and he responded by saying, the most I would pay is probably 300. He also used homophobic slurs on multiple occasions and made sexually inappropriate comments, including one about rapper Bad Baby, who was just 14 at the time. Mr. Beast acknowledged that he made mistakes as a teenager, and a spokesman released this statement. When Jimmy was a teenager, he acted like many kids and used inappropriate language while trying to be funny. Over the years, he has repeatedly apologized and has learned that increasing influence comes with increased responsibility to be more aware and more sensitive to the power of language. After making some bad jokes and other mistakes when he was younger, as an adult, he focused on engaging with the Mr. Beast community to work together on making a positive impact around the world. The new Amazon Prime show, Beast Games looked like a promising way for the Mr. Beast brand to break into the mainstream entertainment industry. The show was developed to be the biggest game show with the largest cash prize ever. 
As filming took place over the last few months and into the summer, the production faced significant criticism for unsafe working conditions. Recent reports suggest that the dangerous stunts taking place did not have adequate safety measures in place, resulting in injuries among participants and crew members. One person said, we were pushed beyond our limits with little regard for safety. Another crew member mentioned several people got hurt and it seemed like the focus was more on getting dramatic footage than ensuring our well-being. And then popular YouTuber Rosanna Pansino, who was a contestant on the show, had this to say. So the messages that I have received from contestants on the show are pretty much all telling a similar story and I find them to be very disturbing. I was a contestant until the end. I also didn't accept their hush money. It was really bad. People were having seizures because they were not getting medication even though we were promised we would. And it was 100% rigged. These testimonies have done little to help the reputation of an already troubled YouTube channel. The effects of the controversies are tough to gauge at this moment, but one noticeable metric was on his most recent video, titled Survive 100 Days in Nuclear Bunker, Win $500,000. This video has received millions of dislikes, and some viewers have even suggested that the video is censoring the comment section to hide some of the sentiment. All of these controversies have made headline news, and any of them could derail a company that made $600 million in revenue last year. Some have also criticized the media, with some suggesting that the coverage might be an attempt to sensationalize the controversies surrounding Mr. Beast. This has fueled speculation that certain media outlets might be trying to ruin Mr. Beast's reputation and bring down his growing empire. But it's not like Mr. Beast hasn't faced problems in the past. Mr. Beast Burger, the ghost kitchen concept that Mr. Beast licensed, faced bad reviews, poor service, and long wait times. In 2023, Mr. Beast cut ties and even filed a lawsuit against the company running Mr. Beast Burger. And he is still awaiting a day in court. The controversies facing Mr. Beast are serious and could be devastating for his company. He has found himself surrounded by bad press, including employing a potential pedophile, saying things in the past that would now get you canceled, and putting the safety of people at risk on Beast Games. He couldn't be under any more intense scrutiny. As investigations continue and more information comes out, the impact on the future of Mr. Beast remains uncertain. The media's role in covering these stories might also play a significant part in shaping the future perception of the YouTube star. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and please consider subscribing and sharing Recollection Road Entertainment with someone you know. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist. As always, thank you so much for watching.